outreach even in the early days has been a strong part of Bryn Mawr Presbyterian Church. Reverend Watermolder and his wife Ruth came to Bryn Mawr Presbyterian Church in 1962. When Dave came, he, you started then the Outreach Council, which they didn't have before at all, and est began establishing relationships with people and churches in the city. Through the generosity of the members of Bryn Mawr Presbyterian Church, there is an outreach council which works with agencies and programs in the five county area uh, around Bryn Mawr Presbyterian Church. In the city of Chester, they had uh, no school libraries. They ran out of money. So there was one public library which was on the far uh, west side of the city of Chester and we were able to raise enough money, enough volunteers too, a lot of volunteer labor, both from this church and other churches. So we rebuilt the library, including, for the first time, some uh, PC uh, computers so that the, uh, the kids could come in and do searches online. Volunteers and building is something this group knows a lot about. The Other Carpenter is a nonprofit organization supported by the church and participated in by the church and we operate in West Philadelphia in the communities of uh, Parkside and Belmont, and we help families repair their houses. We have an ongoing daily uh, operation. We have uh, four work days a week where we invite volunteers. Although West Philadelphia is part of the big metropolitan city of Philadelphia, it's still neglected in many ways and seeks help from the outside. We had done focus groups in West Philadelphia with people who had said, please help us with the children. It isn't the same as when we grew up in these neighborhoods. So volunteers got together and helped in various ways. Through WePAC, the West Philadelphia Alliance for Children, we were able to provide about 200 volunteers who helped out in classrooms. Many of the volunteers told me that this was the most meaningful day of their lives when they went in to work with those children. Volunteers have also applied their skills to outdoor projects as well. This was taking us into an actual neighborhood where we were going to be joining up with families in the city and we would come in and we were going to work in their gardens. To come and weed a row of peas. <laughs> but right. you do a lot more than just weed a row of peas because the people around you are there, the kids are there, and they, they're moving in and out. And as we worked digging, planting, a little boy came out of the house, kind of stared at us. That was the first soul we saw. And he said, what are you doing? And we said, we're planting, would you like to help? And he said, okay. And he grabbed some gloves and he grabbed a shovel and he loved the clippers because they could go in and hack away at the rose bushes. And then a friend of his came along and said, what are you doing? And he came in. And by the time we were done, there were four little boys, I'd say 12 years and under. And they dug with us and they planted, of course, ate our snacks because we had the children, we had to have snacks. And then we all had a group photo taken. And that was the end and then we had to leave. And I would go back at the drop of the hat just to finish that job. It was fabulous. One of the most important things to me throughout my church life has always been to be with a church, a group of people who feel strongly about mission around the world as well as down the street. And mission is an outreach that starts right at BMPC. From helping the homeless as part of the Interfaith Hospitality Network to ministering after worship through fellowship in the ministry center. One of the things that I'm really passionate about is what we call the court ministry, the hospitality ministry that occurs in the court in the church after worship every Sunday. We're a church in transition, and I think this, this fellowship in the court has been a powerful thing. One of the more fun things to do on a nice day, today wouldn't have been a great one with the cold, is parking duty, because you get to greet everybody, you get to see everybody, and they're actually happy if you have a parking space for them. Fellowship is a big factor here that makes members feel connected. Tai Chi and yoga classes during the week at the church's gym 
is another unique way of servicing the needs of the congregation and community.